name is Matthew Gray. I'm the Network Manager at Queen's College. Queen's College is based on Harley Street in London. It's got approximately 350 girls. Um, we have a wide range of subjects going as far as Japanese and then the regulars like science and maths. The college has approximately 190 workstations, um, 13 servers um, running various things from school management to subject driven applications and then just normal domain security. We had 14 servers in total, we had um, domain controllers uh, which were acting as file servers as well. We had an exchange server, SQL servers for reports and school management systems, and then other ones just running classroom uh, applications. The management was an issue if we needed to change um, a server, we had to get a new box, transfer roles over. There's obviously a downtime involved in that. Um, it's quite often you're ending up running two servers for a period to make sure you know both work um, just in case you have to fail back over if something's wrong. We started to look at virtualization three and a half years ago and with JNG systems we've been developing it and looking at how it could help us and it seemed to be the route to go for um, to well cut down on the physical servers which would say floor space and electricity. That along with the flexibility um, virtualization can give, the fact that you can well create a server with a basic operating system in under an hour, you can give it as much processing power or um, RAM or hard drive space as you want. With Microsoft Hyper-V coming in, that's where we started to really look at it. We were working with our test domain, looking to uh, move to Windows 2008 servers in a virtualized environment. Um, j and Systems started talking about failover clustering and the possible solutions we could use. And then the ReadyNAS box seemed a very good solution. Some people were saying HP, some people were saying Dell. Um, we were looking into the costs of these. I mean, they were far too far out of our bracket. Um, we looked at the Drobo, but felt there wasn't really enough that box could give us, even though it was cheaper. It just wouldn't do the job. Um, the Dell was completely out of our price bracket. Uh, the Netgear um, solution was by far the best. The deciding factors for choosing Netgear was primarily the cost because there was no way other companies could provide um, the solution they could. Um, it had enough fault tolerance, there was um, enough disk space and the cost really, the cost was the big thing. The solution allows us to add servers and with as much hard drive space as we need. We have a ReadyNAS 4200 box that hosts all our virtual hard drives. Um, then we have the switch which speaks between the servers and the ReadyNAS box. And then we have three HP servers which host all our virtual machines and run the failover cluster. The other options, well the top end option was about three times the cost of the ReadyNAS box. The lower end option probably wouldn't have done the job. Previously, if we had um, downtime, it could be two or three days. Uh, now, um, well, we shouldn't have any downtime. The server should fail over to one of the other physical hosts. We can repair that server. When that's repaired, just fail over to the user. It's seamless. The new implementation allows us greater flexibility and greater management, um, particularly when it comes to just trying something out. Um, we don't think about setting up a new server. We can set the server up, test the new piece of software, and then either shut down that server, take it off the network in no time. The cost savings are enormous, particularly on the server side. Um, we don't need to buy as many physical servers, so over a five year period, the budget's gonna come down in that area. My day-to-day -day workings, um, vastly improved. Um, I don't have to worry about 
15 physical boxes, whether they're running, whether they have disc errors. On the physical side, I'm looking at really five pieces of equipment now. And then on that, I can look at the virtual servers and they're very easy to manage. The savings um, will certainly be noted over the next few years by the um, school governors and the school bursar. I certainly would recommend this solution or a similar solution to anybody. Um, the sa cost savings are big, um, the management side of it is easier and just the sheer flexibility is very, very good.